Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club. We're the croaky voice. I mustn't have talked enough today. Where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting us, welcome. And if it's not welcome back. Oh, it has been a bit of an emotional evening for me, folks. Um, number one son gave me an early birthday present and I just burst into tears. I'm going to do it again. It was something that I've wanted for ages, but it was really expensive. And I just, we've got other things to do with our money. Like everybody, we're on a limited income. And so I was sort of half saving up for it. Well, he bought it for me and I just and gave it to me early because he couldn't wait, couldn't wait till the weekend. So I just looked at it and I thought, oh, Salt Lake City, what would be coming for me from Salt Lake City? Anyway, it was a cricket easy press. And no doubt you will see me using it in lots of videos from now on. <sighs> his his thinking was he watched me all year to try and do iron, iron on vinyl, iron on transfers and things on some of the gifts we're making with my regular iron, which just doesn't get hot enough for the vinyl, especially the glitter vinyl. And of course, the little Cricut mini press, I think it's a mini, mini press, the little tiny one. I picked that up on sale a couple of years ago, $79. And it's great, but it's so little when you're doing a big design. I was perfectly happy to keep doing it, but he watched me do it and decided I needed something bigger. And he'd heard me talking about, about this um, easy press. So there you go. He remembered. <sighs> we won't be putting him up for adoption, will we? We'll keep him for a while. Guys, have you had a great week? Did you all have a lovely new year? Ours was sort of yeah, normal. I was in bed by about nine o'clock. I'm old. I'm old. I don't need to stay up till midnight and whatever. I didn't even hear Wayne come to bed. So not even didn't hear the fireworks go off at midnight. Didn't hear the dog next door barking or the people next door. I didn't hear anything. I was out like a light. So I had a busy day and it was hot. So, yeah. Well done, Barb, on sending cards. It's a really nice feeling to send them to nursing homes, isn't it? You know they're going to be appreciated. Cheezels, $1.50, might have to stock up. <laughs> they haven't been that cheap for ages, and they certainly weren't in December. I was looking, trust me. Um, hello, Greg Evans. Hello, Tanya, Kylie, Michelle. Hello, Jane. Hello, Maureen. This is Dilla Gaff, Tegan, Glennis. Hello, Wendy. Catnaps, Gloria, Melissa, Evelyn, Mary. This is Aussie Thunder, Lisa. Oops. Michelle. I just saw your reply to my email, Michelle. Yes. Um, thank you, Tegan. Another year old, well, not quite another year older yet. Um, Lisa, Julie, cool. Okay, Barb, can I just say, say you want a cricket, can I really, really just say cricket is popular because it's well advertised. We have a scan and cut, mm, about the same price. But ours does so much more than the cricket. Um, just saying, if you really want a cricket, I won't put you off it. But ours does so much more than the cricket and it's really easy to use. When it says scan and cut, literally, I can take a piece of paper. I could scan this piece of paper and then decide I want to cut out those flowers. Set machine, it will cut out those flowers. I can then save it so I could put any art, uh, put the plain side in and cut out the shape of those flowers again. 
I don't have to um, do it on my computer. I can do it straight into the machine. It's so much easier, so much easier. Just saying, not trying to talk you out of a cricket if that's what you really want, just saying. Um, Alrighty, now the, the things have dropped down on me. Um, hello, Joy. You know, you're not late. Wendy's already made a head start on Handmade Christmas, so have I. Um, hello, Roslyn. Um, uh, No, you don't need NBN with a scanning cart. No, no. You you can use it. There are online things that you can do to transfer to your machine, like with the Cricut. But no, there everything's built into the machine. You don't. It does not need to be connected to the internet for to be used. No. Um, We did a lot of investigating. Before we bought the Scan and Cut, we did a lot of investigating because I was sold on the cricket. I was really sold on the cricket because it's a bit like, remember the old Dishlex dishwasher ad? Dishlex, do you remember those ads? Am I aging myself? And Dishlex was the most popular dishwasher in Australia for about 10 years. It was only popular because of the advertising. It did not rate well in terms of quality of build, workmanship, um, the ability to actually clean the dishes wasn't that great, but it was the most popular because it had a good advertising campaign. So does Cricut. And Cricut stuff is easy to find. Brothers are a bit weird with the way they do things and they limit their suppliers, which is really, really, I keep saying, don't do it, but they do. Okay. Oh, Mary saw Coles. Butter 450 for 250 grams. Um, fairy is cooking margarine. If you want to, you can substitute coconut oil for butter. You could substitute margarine if you really want to. Some of them more of the olive oil margarines are not too bad. It really depends on what you are making. Um, really, really depends on what you are making. So, but yeah. Fairy margarine is cooking margarine. If it's cheaper, that's what nine dollars. Nine dollars for five hundred grams of butter. Ouch. Ooh, that's scary, isn't it? All right. Well, we'll talk about all those things later because I just want to talk about. I thought um, the response from last week's video was really good. Thank you so much, everyone. So I thought I'd run over. Because i am already started my um, gift making for this year. Um, so I thought I'd go over how I planned it out last year and how I've planned it out for this year. Because I know Selena, I'm not sure if she's in chat, but over on Cheapskate's chatted before, she, she doesn't want to even want to think about um, Christmas. But honestly, guys, if you want to do a handmade Christmas, you need to start now. And I know that's an old, everybody says that, you know, it gets to October. Oh, if you're going to make a quilt, start now. Well, starting a quilt in October, too late for Christmas. You will be too, too pushed. There will be too much pressure. You're not going to do a quilt for someone for Christmas, start it now. Don't delay <laughs> You don't have to do it all at once. You've got the whole year to do it. And that is the beauty of this um, handmade Christmas challenge. Now, if you don't want to make handmade Christmas gifts, you want to buy your Christmas gifts, I'm going to say the same thing. Start now. Don't wait till October, November, December. Start now. Give yourself time. Give yourself time to think about the perfect gift that will fit within your budget if you are buying so that you have time to research it, time to find where you can get it for the best price. Okay, now, if you missed last week's video, you can go back and watch it, but I will warn you, it is long. I'm sorry about that. But honestly, 
our, hem, our handmade Christmas, our personal handmade Christmas was so successful on absolutely every level that to me it was a no-brainer to just keep it going. And I've decided to do all our gifts this year as handmade gifts. So it's going to be a totally handmade Christmas. And I've already told the odd ones that, no, they can't ask for something I can't make. <laughs> they can ask for something I can make, but they can't ask for something I can't make. It's going to be a totally handmade Christmas year. So I've already planned it out. I've planned out the who, the what, the when, and other. And under other, it's, you know, is, is it going to be a birthday or... Um, engagement wedding we've got a couple of those coming up that sort of thing and i've factored in for a few little gifts you know just because just because i think you're feeling a bit down and this would cheer you up sort of gifts or thank you gifts um i factored those in too so what i've done is got a new journal um some a couple of them went out la for last christmas to different people i've made more of them to add to the gift list for this year and i've called them i don't know if you'll be able to see this uh, let me see i've called them oh, make it bake it grow it sew it and we've got tabs m b G S. So make it, bake it, grow it, sew it. And I've put, I'm putting in this book everything, everything that I'm going to make, everything that I'm going to bake, everything that I'm going to sew, everything that I'm going to grow. I'm going to list in my journal. I can show you the list. I printed it out. It's a long list. It's a long, long list. Two pages. There you go. That's what I was just doing. Two pages of things. Do you want me to run through them? Because there's quite a few things. And there's all the, the old standbys that are normal things for me, like the dishcloths, the tea towels, kitchen towels, which is the hanging kitchen towels. Some are crocheted. Some are fabric topped. And I found instructions for a knitted top that I've sort of played around a bit with a bit this afternoon. I might need to tweak the pattern a bit. Um, canning mats, pot holders, and I've got a couple of different styles of those. The decoupage spoons. These I've called them here laundry signs. They're actually um, um, for a couple, a couple of people that I know have trouble keeping track of socks. They're like lost socks signs couple of welcome signs that are going um, to people that we know who are moving into new homes. Card packs. They're my old standby, aren't they? Card packs. Um, scrubbies, dish scrubbies. Hand wash bottles. I have heaps of the um, amber glass, 500 ml amber glass bottles. I think I did one for hand wash in a video a while uh, earlier last year, maybe. Um, I will need to buy pump tops for those, so I will get those online and then I'll put hand wash on it. And I don't, AJ gives me the bottles, he buys the cold press coffee because they're a client, the company first, first press coffee, I think that's their name is a client of his so he buys his coffee off them and gives me bottles um i'll do the same for dish soap seed packets oh, new idea for seed packets i really like the seed packets i put them i put them away i really like the seed packets that i did last year oh my goodness when you see these ones and i'll have a tutorial for them blow your mind they are so cute they are so so cute so so cute um the jar toppers uh, where can i find the pattern for the scrubbies i don't have a written pattern for them 
um, but there's heaps on YouTube. If you type Dish Scrubby into YouTube, the ones I do are double-sided. You can find lots of single-sided ones, but mine are worked in a circle and you go bigger and bigger and bigger and then you go shrink it, shrink it, shrink it and it sort of folds in on itself and makes them double-sided. I'll try and... Hmm, I'll try and write the pattern out and put it over on home among the gum trees. But <laughs> bear in mind that I, I'm not good at I, I can see it and make it. I don't know that I'm, I'm not really that good at following patterns. I have to see it. Um, but I'll try and do that for you. And then I'll make a note of that scrubby pattern. Because they're really quick and easy to do. They're nice to make. Um, bag clips. They were really popular. Button jars. Oh my goodness. I had this da -da 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 -da, dum, fussing around, cleaning out the linen cupboard, and I found my button jar. And I went, button jars. Because my button jar is special um, in that it's just a jar, but the lid. The lid is a little special so button jars and I will be keeping an eye out for buttons op shops places like that um, this year and I may need to buy some otherwise I'll just be going through my stash and putting some buttons in um, okay um, I had never seen a knitted tea towel top, Rosie, and it just intrigued me because I don't mind knitting. I like knitting it, and I've crocheted hundreds, and of course sewn hundreds, but the knitted one, it just looks so nice. So I was playing with it this afternoon, but I didn't quite have the right ply cotton. It was either, What I had was either too thin or too thick. I need something a bit in the middle, and I know that Karen gave me some that I think will be perfect. So... She gifted me some bamboo yarn and I think it will be perfect for the towel topper. So I will play around with it and see. Um, don't tell everyone I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be um, I'm supposed to be on holidays. I'm supposed to be relaxing and, you know, not stressing out about stuff. But Wayne's gone out. So he, you know, what am I going to do? talk to myself I'd rather talk to you guys um, oh there you go circle loom I've looked at those I've been looking and looking see one if one will turn up in the op shops Jane I'm hoping hoping that they will Tegan I'm not sure about lives on home among gum trees um, I'm editing videos to upload to that channel at the moment. Um, I'm not sure about lives though. If, you, if you're interested in lives, maybe we can do lives then too. I don't mind doing lives. I think I quite prefer them to, only because I don't like editing. So it's, it's the lazy streak coming out in me. Um, Home Among the Gum Trees is my crafting website homeamongthegumtrees.com and we will be introducing a youtube channel um, thank you barb um, these jars jane these jars are gorgeous and you will be you'll be able to do this no problem at all so you will love them too the button jars are just and I've just when I'm thinking about it, and I went, oh my goodness, oh, all these years I could have been giving button jars. Okay. So, because lots of, I found lots of younger, younger women, younger men, younger crafters don't have a button jar. It's a habit when, as soon as a shirt's no good to be worn anymore, um, the buttons come off and go in the jar. Same with trousers, shorts and things. The zippers come out, the buttons come off, the pockets come off. It's just habit. 
for us. I have some from my great grandma Evelyn and oh my gosh that I've kept them in a, a little tin I've separated them because I don't ever want to get rid of them because they're just so well they're precious they're just precious um, all right oh, oh please show us when you do because there's so many have you seen the stars they make with buttons and the little angels of course are gorgeous the button angels i remember doing those we have friends that have four boys and every year for christmas i would give them an ornament for each of the boys for their christmas tree and one year i did the button angels and i know it's probably girly for boys but it was christmas and they were little and oh, i remember making them and i did them for my kids too um I am doing a secret live. Don't tell anyone. Nobody's here. Nobody's going to know. Wayne's busy. He'll never know. He hasn't got time to be watching me. Although, you know what? He's going to come home and go, do you do YouTube tonight? And I'll go, hey, hey, hey. Yes. Way to go, Tanya. Oh, no, wrong person. Sorry. Way to, <laughs> way to go. Very, very good. Dishcloths are easy and you know what? They don't need to be perfect. They are dishcloths. You don't need to panic about, you know, if your knitting's a little uneven in some rows or just, just knit it. You get better with practice anyway. That was a nice gift from your mum, Wendy. Um Delaney's got crystal buttons from the 1950s. Oh, my goodness. 1850s. So they're real crystals. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. They would be precious. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. So needle cases are on my list too. Um, what made me think of those was I was thinking along the lines of button jars and then I walked into... Um, get my sewing box out and in the top of it is an absolutely gorgeous little needle case that I was gifted um, a couple of years ago from Tanya and I love it I absolutely adore it it is just beautiful and it sits in the top of my sewing box until I'm ready to go somewhere and I've got I think I was talking about this today I have a sort of craft go bag. You know, if you've got a bug out bag, well, I've got a craft bug out bag. So that when we're going away, it's got, you know, needles and crochet hooks and cotton and wool and whatever and a few patterns, some scissors, whatever in it. So I've got something to do while we're away. And I always put that little sewing um, needle kit in the pocket of that bag to take with me because sure as eggs, if I don't have it, Wayne will lose a button or... A hem will come down or something and we'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere well not quite but you know middle of australia and it's really really handy um yes barb jar toppers are so so easy um jane made embroidery scissor cases yes I was gifted one of those for Christmas too. Um, jar toppers are easy. They don't take a lot of fabric or paper if you're using paper because if you go to buy them, they are paper. You have to um, go to somewhere like um, uh, Etsy or a crafty, markety type thing to get fabric jar toppers. If you go to the store to buy them, they are paper. They are really, really easy. Um, and then packet tissue covers, um, you know, the little personal packet tissue covers. I'm going to get rid of this kind of, where is it? Up here. Um, I've got those on the list with some hankies that I want to monogram. So I want to um, do some embroidery on those. And that's a perfect traveling gift 
a traveling gift traveling craft too because it doesn't take a lot of space i don't need to take a lot of bulky materials with me to do those um so so they work really well too chocolate boxes i'm sure you've seen my chocolate boxes before and the dove soap boxes i've got more of those to do now i've got more dove soap i like them it's just like having them on hand they're just a little thing they only take um, two minutes to make but it just makes presenting something a little nicer because you know it's the wow factor isn't it and that's what we're looking for and i've got <laughs> i don't know what these things are called i call them squash toilet roll boxes i'll show you how to make them um here we go here's here's a i'll show you right now this is the start of one it was a toilet roll okay squash it flat like so then you get it like that and you simply fold the ends in Can you see like that so you're holding it and folding it just like that um, pillow box they're pillow boxes that's what they're called little pillow boxes okay um and then you just decorate them wrap them in paper wrap them in lace wrap them in burlap with some greenery on them or whatever if you're a bit squeamish about using toilet rolls get a round of um cardstock and make it into a tube and do the same thing they're really really easy to do but for little things like earrings or a necklace or a little bracelet or um little hair clips things like that will fit in there nicely really really nicely and they're easy to do and again these are all things that you can make using what you already have you don't need to buy anything to make these things you just need to look at it and decide whether you're going to use a toilet roll center or a tube of, car of cardstock and then get out your paper it could be wrapping paper it could be colored um printer paper it doesn't need to be anything fat. pictures from a ma magazine a magazine that's got a really nice big picture use that to cover it really 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 um simple paper towel tubes would work too you just need to cut them down hello chris um wendy and joy must be related because they've got the same um, thoughts. There you go, Barb's got the same thought too. Um, I don't use paper towels either, Barb. Uh, Joy. Okay. Gift tags from cards. If anyone wants to see some nice gift gift tags made from cards, um, Jane posted some over on Cheapskates Chatter from her cut down Christmas cards. I saved. We got some really lovely really lovely christmas cards this year that i have saved to make gift toppers and i'll show you how to do that too um, and a gift topper is like the embellishment on instead of a bow you put the topper on the parcel um, i had an idea for recipe books and recipe cards using a couple of things that i already have so um, uh, I'll do a I'll do a, a prototype and see how it works. If if I can translate my imagination to the actual thing, it will be a goer. Seed gift tags blew my mind when I saw these. Not my original idea. It popped up on Pinterest. Now, if you've been to our website, you know I've got the tutorial for seed tapes. It's along those lines, but in a gift tag. Um, so I want to make some of those because I know people who will really enjoy those. Um, then, like I say, if you have a tool, you should use it because otherwise it's just a big waste of space and money. So this year, I'd really like to get the embroidery machine doing a bit more to earn its keep. So... I've already chosen some patterns for hand towels and kitchen towels to embroider. I showed you, I think in last week's video, one of the kitchen towels that I embroidered. 
um, the top are embroidered. So I want to do more of those. I also want to do some, um, I have two sets of bath towels that I think I'm going to monogram to give as gifts. Um, and then there's my usual face washes with the crocheted trim and face scrubbies. Um, I put reindeer food jars on here because we've got it in our family now. We're starting to get little people again in our family. So we have some little people. So I thought reindeer food jars. So I will be saving jars through the year to make, um, to decorate these jars for reindeer food. Um, more card portfolios. Um, peg bags and scrunchie bags are on my list. And I've got a recipe book holder that I want to stencil. I've already got a recipe book holder. I just need to paint it and sand it and stencil it. And I want to do some stenciled um, breadboards, charcuterie boards, whatever you want to call them. I have those already. They've been sitting in that corner over there for ages. <laughs> waiting to be done. I've got little milk bottles that I want to stencil, paint and stencil. So um, I want to do those. I've got a plan for those with flowers. And then I want to do some candles, different types of candles. I'd like to do the pillar candles like I showed you last week, the wrapped ones. Um, on a tray, which was not an idea, the, not my original idea. I got that, I think, from Mary from White Cottage Company. Ah, what else? More menu boards. I've had a couple of requests for menu boards, so I'll do some more menu boards. And then that's the individual thing. Some of them will be put together as um, hampers or whatever. We've got a couple of engagements and weddings coming up. So I thought for those, I would do um, tea towels, dishcloths, pot holders and kitchen towels, um, matching, coordinating in sets um, to give um, as engagement presents. Because I know both the girls getting engaged will really like those. They're both very practical people. They will really like those. Um, um, so, Amy, has anyone made bath bombs? Yes, bath bombs are easy. You just have to be quick. Um, you just need to be really, really quick when you're doing the mixing. And... Push it in really, really firmly to your push it into your mould really, really firmly. Are they the little pattern weights? Are they the little triangly um, pyramid um, sacks, Michelle? I've seen those. I've got the instructions for those. I've not made any. I don't think I've made any. I don't recall. Um, Spice mixes, yes. You can do spice mixes. I know a couple of years ago I had little spice jars from Kmart or Ikea, either of them, and we made mixes. So we did taco mix, we did um, burrito mix, we did... Um, Fancy salt. Hannah made some fancy, some sort of fancy salt. We did a whole heap of different mixes and put them in the jars with labels on and gave them a sense. Um, there you go. So that's the list of things that I um, have put down, whether I get them all made or not may not happen but what I have done 
to get me started with the planning is already started my list of of the who and what they're getting so i've got the names blacked out so that people know who's getting what and then whether it's um a birthday gift or a christmas gift so birthdays here christmas here i've gone through and started um started to work it all out so that i can get a start on making the things and putting them together that was my first step in the process Tegan wants to know what's the difference in taco mix and burrito mix in our house. No, there is no difference in our house. Enchiladas, burritos, tacos, all the same. Just use the same one. But um, different spices. Different spices, pretty much. Uh, No, same deal, dishwasher tablets are easy to make. You just need to be really quick with the mixing and push them hard into the mould so that they set really firmly. Um, they're fine. Yeah, gifts in a jar are really good. If you're going to do them for things like cakes and that, start collecting your jars now, work out your labels, write your instructions and things like that and leave it till the last minute to put your ingredients in so you know they are really, really fresh. Uh, hot chocolate, um, hot chocolate mixes, muffin mixes, cornbread. Look, cornbread's the easiest thing in the world to make. I just noticed the blind is broken, sorry. Um, cornbread's the easiest thing in the world to make. It's so, so simple. So cornbread mix in a jar. Now, I um, I run our website on Chief Skates Club website. There's, um, and I think I've done a video about it too, making mixes, making your own mixes and, and your own packaged products. For home, I don't put them in jars. I put them in Ziploc bags because they stack better. A jar takes up too much space for one thing where, you know, the space of 12 Ziploc bags stacked up is much less than the space of 12 um, pint jars on the shelf, if you know what I mean. But giving it as a gift um, is so much nicer if you can give it in a jar. And your jars don't have to be expensive. Put the word out to people that you know who buy past the source. Um, ask them to save the jars for you. People will do that. Um, uh, where am I going? I'm getting lost here in the coins, trying to go up. Um, people will do that quite happily for you. Joy, Joy is a great source of jars for me. We tend to swap things backwards and forwards. So that works really, really well for me. Um, the... Spice mixes, the Moo spice mixes are most definitely cheaper than buying them. Most definitely buy about 97% cheaper than buying them. Works out a lot cheaper. Um, of course, people want to share, they can share their treat, their handmade gifts on um, our Cheapskates Chatter page. We might, do we want to set a day to do that? I know Annabelle does Tuesdays. Do we want to stick to Tuesday? Would you like to do, I was going to call it Make It Monday um, and start sharing my things on a Monday only because it's fresh after the weekend. Um, let me know. You think Make It Monday would be good? We can do that. I am more than happy to do that. I like inspiration too. And the thing is, I've show you something and say oh this is what i'm doing blah 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 and you might go wow that would be great for and it's inspired you to do something else so you don't necessarily have to copy it or case it which is copy and share everywhere i think that's what it stands for but case it but you can use it as inspiration to come up with something else or as pamela used to say make it your own we used to laugh when she say it, 
make it your own because she would say it to us all the time make it your own put it on an angle and make it your own wendy and joy and maureen will remember that but do it make it your own if any of the gifts any of the lists um i've mentioned make it your own um, that's the beauty of crafting you can take something and make it your own you don't have to copy it exactly um, oh sorry Tegan I was still on mixes um dishwasher tablets they are a bit cheaper but I have to say I don't use the tablets my dishwasher and the dishwasher before this one did not like tablets in fact the last dishwasher hated them so I just use the Aldi powder up until midway through last year I was still using the $2.19 Coles powder now they don't have that anymore I'm stuck with the Aldi powder it's all right and I only use three level teaspoons three and I have a teaspoon in the container with the powder and I measure it out and that will last six to eight weeks um, and the dishes are clean the only time the dishes aren't clean is if I forget to clean the filter and someone puts something in that isn't properly scraped I don't rinse but we do scrape um, in the dishwasher um, make it Monday Mary you'll need to there's a link in the comment in the discussion box below me in the description box below me there will be a link to cheapskates chatter over on Facebook so follow that and there's two questions to answer so you have to answer the questions and once you've done that you'll be in okay um, easy as pie but you must answer the questions and that's just it's not because I don't want you or anyone else it's just to keep out um, bots and spammers because we all suffer enough there you go aren't those those jars they're the ones with the red and white lid aren't they just beautiful they're just beautiful so nice so so nice see and if you don't ask, you won't get. The worst thing that can happen is someone will say no. Well, they'll say, what do you want them for? That's a good idea. I think I'll keep them. They're still saying no, but you've spurred them on to use them. So don't be afraid to ask. Um, and if you have uh, mother's club, playgroup, um, we're all probably past, most of us are probably past playgroup, or some sort of sports club crafting group or whatever talk about talk to your members about having a swap table we do swaps in our card group we do swaps not all the time but someone will say I've got something for the swap table and it's there for the taking and you, we get all sorts of things because something that I think I won't use and is totally going somewhere else if I can take it and put it on the swap table someone else might be able to use it it might be just what they're looking for so oops make it Monday okay and I have some of those little tiny jars for you jam, um, jam jars joy you know the ones you get on um hotel breakfast trays the little or in the little ones that they give you in hampers sometimes i've got some of those for you okay make it monday make it monday kylie's got a good point there to vacuum seal the jars if they're re recycled jars that's really a good idea um Maureen made a cookie jar mix for a friend recently and she made it with a daughter. Oh, that's really nice. Um, I 
So you go, Wendy's got dishwasher powder for Aldi 369. It's been about, uh, it's been a while since I bought any, so I don't really know. Um, make it Monday, we'll make it our own. That's a perfect slogan, Maureen. We can. All right. There you go, Joy Barters for Jars. She says, if you give me a few empty jars, you'll get one back full of something homemade and delicious. Bargain. Swap table is a great idea. I like it too. And yes, it is a good time to check up shops for baskets for hampers. We had a couple of things that were given to us over Christmas in really nice size cardboard boxes for a change usually they're too big or too small these are really good sized boxes so I have very very carefully put them in um, garbage bags and put them out in my shed to use for the hampers um, this year because I'm always looking for something to put the hampers in so when I give the fellows the hampers I don't particularly appreciate a basket a pretty basket they just look at it and go Chook. They want what's in it. They don't want the basket. So a paper-covered box works just fine for them. All right. So where do we get to? We've chosen the people. I've thought about um, what I'm going to make or what I'd like to make for them. And starting now, you can actually um, put some time into thinking about it. So that I know that um, my friend Chris likes apricot tones and she's a pretty practical person, but she still likes pretty stuff. And they travel a lot. So I can think of something that will suit that and make it for her. Um, hello, Beryl. Um, so you've got time to think about what each person might like. And the other good thing is starting now, if you've got to learn a new skill, you have a bit of time to do it too. Now, remember the teacup candles I did last week? Do you remember those? I showed you last week. Some of them were um, citronella. Well, look at this. Look at this beauty. Is that not pretty? I have this. This was in my stash and I got it out today to make into a, um, not a candle. I have another idea for this. But is that not pretty? Look at that. You know, it is so, so pretty. And it was a whole $2. By the time I'm finished with what I want to do, it will probably be around $3 in total cost I know to buy them they are between 25 and 30 dollars for what I want to do so but isn't it pretty now when I say it's pretty I think it's pretty it's not in the style of my home it's not in the style of my kitchen or my dining room at all but I love I just love the contrast and I know that the person this I have in mind for this will love. This is right up there, Ali. Right, right up there, Ali. So I'm starting early. And I mention that because that's the next step. We're doing handmade gifts and we're doing them on a budget. We're hoping to do them for under budget and the way to do that is to use what we already have to do that we need to know what we already have so Tanya mentioned organizing her craft room um, late last week before New Year's and that spurred me on and I have not that you can notice but I've actually done quite a bit of organizing in here and sorting out and at the same time, I've been making note of what I have, what fabric I have, 
um, what face washes I have, what tea towels I have, paper, cards, all the materials and things that I have that can be used to make things, the laces, the ribbons, all those sorts of things, so that I can then choose if I'm going to make scrunchies, am I going to make crocheted scrunchies? Okay, I want to make crocheted scrunchies. Do I have the elastics? Yes, check. Do I have the cotton? Yes, check. Do I have the silk? Yes, check. So I can do crocheted scrunchies. I have the materials. I don't need to buy anything else. So I can tick that off next to that person's name and sit down one night this week and get those scrunchies done. And then I can cross it off. And that gift is done for the year. It's done. I don't need to worry about that person anymore. Um, so do your materials inventory. I know it's a bit of a pain. Craft rooms aren't meant to be tidy in that they're not meant to be, you know, um, vogue living, sterile type tidy. They need to be tidy so that you can work and they need to be tidy so that you can find stuff, but you're still going to have stuff. You'll have your work in progress. You'll have the materials for it. You'll have bits and pieces. I tend to like to try and clean everything up at the end of each project so that I'm starting with a clean room. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. No, Lisa, I don't. I don't like the flat elastic for scrunchies. I go to um, Priceline. Price when they're on sale, they have big boxes of 100. And I get 100 white and 100 black. And they're about, well, okay. Last time I bought them, they were $2 on sale. I dare say now they will be more expensive. Um and I get adult size and children's size. I've done little baby ones, which are the really, really tiny ones, but they just did my fingers in, so I've given up on those. Little babies can just suffer with butterfly clips. Um, yeah, so that's how I do my scrunchies. Ah. Uh, just actual plain hair elastics, the white ones, the black ones, the round, the roll, looks like hat elastic, but covered. That's, yep, that's all I use. Um, for the crocheted ones, for the sewn scrunchies, we use um, flat elastic, but not for the crocheted ones. Um, Smart boy. Maureen's son's turning 21 this year. Really? Already? Wow. <sighs> wow. And he's asked for his favourite recipes in a folder. Well done. Why not? It's a great idea. Um, a really, really, yeah, that's a great idea. Ooh, ooh, Maureen, I have something. I have something you might be able to use. It would be perfect for him. Okay. Where did I start writing notes? I'll write it down. Just reminded me. Because recipe books are really, really handy. The other thing that's really good for people that are moving out of home or just, just getting married or what is a... Um, home organization binder folder type of thing <coughs> something that you know tells them a basic cleaning routine monday through friday then what to do in the garden um how to clean a washing machine how to clean a dishwasher how to clean the rubbish bins lots of people don't clean their rubbish bins i can't believe people don't clean their rubbish bins um how to do a load of laundry that sort of how to wash dishes. There's an awful lot of people that don't know how to do these things, that do not know how to, how to do these things. 
um, how long food will last in the fridge, how to store food in the fridge, what should go into um, square containers, what should go into round containers, what should be frozen, um, that sort of thing. In our, our home binder makes a really um, a useful gift. May not always be appreciated when you hand it over, but I swear, and my mum made us do chores and I knew how to do all sorts of things. When I left home, I knew how to wash and iron and sweep and mop and cook and whatever. But something like that, that I could just, instead of having to pick up the phone and pay toll fees because it was STD back in those days, say, mum, how do I do this? It would have been in the binder. I would have loved, I'd love to have that now. Sometimes I think, oh, my goodness, I really wish um, I could just pick up the phone and call mum and say, how did you do this? But I can't. Um, Okay, Tegan, you need to go over to Cheapskates Club, cheapskatesclub.net, and time to clean the washing machine and how to clean a rubbish bin. I do our rubbish bin um, in summer. I do the rubbish bin every week. Once it's been emptied, the bin truck's been, it's been emptied, I take it round the back and I pour in a slurp of Miracle Spray and I pour in two buckets of water and then I've got an outside broom and I give it a squish up and down, up and down, up and down and swish it around and I let it sit for a little while. Then I take it around the side of the house and let it pour it out on the weeds in the hope that it will kill the weeds and bring it back around, give it a swish out and let it dry. I do that to our, gar our garbage bin every week in summer, in winter, probably every two or three weeks. Um, the recycle bin only gets done. Um, the recycle bin only gets done probably once every, oh, once a month maybe. But I do make sure stuff going into our bin is wrapped too. I don't just chuck rubbish in the bin, and I rinse bottles and tins before they go into the recycle bin. There's nothing worse than that bin smell. So that's how I clean the bin. On a Friday, you will see me dragging the bin around the back. I do it around the back because I could do it out the front, but really I don't want to terrorise the neighbours. What is it? Um, Traumatise the neighbours. And that's what I do. Miracle Spray comes in handy for all sorts of things. Um, it's, really, re it's really easy to do. Really easy to do. I don't know if I'm the only odd bod that does that, but it is easy to do. Okay, so I've covered who? Have I covered who? Yes. Have I covered what? When is pretty self-explanatory because it's birthdays, Christmas, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Um, I'm hand-making our anniversary gift this year. Not that we do big gifts on our anniversary, but I am going to make one. Um, and then I've got the others which is things to use for thank you gifts or goodbye gifts or that sort of thing um, all listed down now at the moment it's on my laptop on and i use one note i love one note so i use one note but i will tell you that i will be transferring it into my journal tonight all of it because i had a little incident this afternoon that just reinforced why why i don't um why i don't trust technology i had an order for a particular color crochet dishcloth one of the daisy dishcloths I had the yarn, I had the hook. It's been a couple of months since I did one, so I just wanted to check that I remembered right. Do you think I could find that pattern? Do you think I could find that pattern anywhere? I searched OneNote. I searched all the folders on my desktop. I tried looking for it online. I, I tried going through all my saved um, bookmark things. I have no idea where I stashed that pattern. 
So finally, finally remembered that in my go bag, there was a scribbled out handwritten one and I used that to make it. Do not trust technology. I am transferring it all. So I have a hard copy because then if my laptop goes down or the internet goes out for any length of time, I've got my hard copy and I will be able to make my daisy dishcloth or I will be able to know what else is on my list. What is the next thing I can do? Because that's the other thing we're doing this year in Cheapskates is we're going to do the next thing. 2023, we're going to sparkle. It's going to be a tough year, but we're not going to let that dim us. We are going to sparkle and we're just going to keep on going. I wanted to hit 2023 running and I did. Thanks to noisy neighbours and noisy kookaburras, I was out of bed really early on New Year's Day. But I hit 2023 running and I don't want to stop. I want to keep us going and I want to do the next thing. And to do that, I need to have my list. Um, so... I'll keep it on OneNote because I really, I really, really do like OneNote, but it will also be going into my Make It, Bake It, Grow It, Sew It. Um, so I've got a hard copy. And that means, too, when we're away um, and I don't have internet access, I've got my copy next to me. Um, Barb wants to know what hand handmade gift ideas for this men in their 70s. No food. Um, okay, depends what you want to make, depends what their hobbies are, kits. Um, there's a video scheduled for tomorrow about kits, um, making up kits. Kits are really big business. I was looking before Christmas at um, what was available online and in stores. Kits are really big business. Um, I'm not sure whether people think they're a cop-out gift because it's, you know, oh, I can't think of anything, I'll get them a kit. But they are huge. Kits and hampers, huge business. Um, so those sorts of things. Beryl's got, here we go, um, knitted socks. Yes, Beryl's got... Socks, gloves, beanie, scarf, hankies. If you cross stitch or embroider, um, get some plain hankies and monogram them. And that's as simple as using a pencil to do your calligraphy and then some stranded cotton and a needle and satin stitch over the top. Really simple. Do not you don't need to do a lot for those. They are easy. Um, calendars are really good for men especially big with big blocks so that they can write on them and you can print those off easy enough uh, car cleaning kits says annabelle yes shoe cleaning kits annabelle's got a thing on um is it on bluebirds are nesting for shoe cleaning is the shoe cleaning kits that you put together they were just brilliant um They were brilliant. Ah, oh, there you go. Seed hampers. Yes, seed hampers. Or a garden journal. Or um, garden gloves and a good quality trowel or fork or something like that. Um, and with the garden gloves, personalise them. Use a Sharpie to put his name on them. When you get your scan and cut, you can use iron on, vel iron on vinyl and do it. But a Sharpie and put his name on them. Personalise them. Um, handkerchiefs there you go simple gifts and treats handkerchiefs are great and you know what hankies made out of old shirts sounds gross but it's not old cotton shirts old button up shirts cotton shirts make their best hankies and serviettes because the cotton has been laundered it is so soft when you've got a sore nose sore nose tissues you don't want to wipe your nose on a tree. Use something soft like cotton. 
and old shirts make the best cotton um, handkerchiefs. They are just brilliant. Okay, now, have I covered everything? Let me go back to my notes. Sorry, guys. Um, I think I have. Okay, all right. Okay, so tomorrow, tomorrow morning it will be, I think I've scheduled, scheduled it for around 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. We'll be back to our regular programming, um, probably properly next week. I'm still a bit all over the place. Um, but, yeah, tomorrow morning, kits. Um Grandson nine that you need to mail overseas, so it has to be light. Um, does he have a particular, does he read a particular um, series of books or that sort of thing? Because then you can do something along the lines of, this is going to sound really weird, but one year I... I crochet around all our face washes. I always have, not just the ones I give, but the ones we use at home because it just makes them last longer. But I crocheted around the edges. But we had a little boy in the family who was Batman, absolutely Batman crazy. So I just happened to find four Batman face washes. So I crocheted around them just in a very simple, wasn't a pretty flowery one. It was just a very simple stitch around them and wrap those up and he loved them he absolutely loved them and I know Wayne's auntie did the same thing for our boys one got spider-man and one got something else superman maybe and Hannah got bananas in pajamas face washes and they've still got them they've still got them AJ is about to turn 30 he just turned 30 two in november so um they really they really love them they don't weigh much those sorts of things don't weigh much um minecraft beanie that's a good idea pillowcase a reading pillowcase um all those sorts of things are really good ideas okay time to go oh, i've gone over again so sorry folks um before i go if you haven't already subscribed please do and i just want to check one quick thing if you haven't already subscribed hannah said i have to tell you every week how we're going and because i want that we need 76 subscribers who knows 76 people that can subscribe to our channel so i can get rid of that dehydrator 4,924 subscribers. As soon as we hit 5,000, that dehydrator, everyone's name's going to go through the little gizmo thing that I've got and it will go. Now, if you are overseas, don't panic. We've got that sorted. You can still, you can, you are still eligible. So do not panic. Okay. Um, so please subscribe because you must be subscribed. If you're not subscribed to our channel, it's really easy. Hit the subscribe button. There's a little bell next to it. Click that. You can choose how often you want to be notified of new videos, new live shows. Um, and then what else? Um, there's something else. Comments. I've read, I will go back and read all your comments later tonight. But if you want to comment after the show or you're reading this, oh, reading, watching on replay, feel free to leave a comment in below because I read them all. And if you've got a question, um, ask it. I'll do my best to answer it for you. The last thing you could do is share the video. If you know someone who might like to know about cheapskates, who might like to know about Handmade Christmas, please click that share button. It just sends them a link. We don't harass them or anything else. But, you know, there's three simple things. Like, subscribe and share. 
that really help our channel grow and that makes it more easily recognized and the easier it is to find the easier it is for us to spread the message that it is absolutely possible to live life debt free cashed up and laughing and it can still be done even in today's crazy expensive inflationary world okay so i will sneak back next tuesday <laughs> sneak back next tuesday don't tell wayne and i'll see you then so have a great week, everyone, and happy Chiefs skating.